In this video, I'm going to show you how this general niche store was able to make over $1.8 million with only 2,000 followers. Check it out. Hey guys, Julian right here known as the Ecom Champ and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how this general branded niche store was able to generate over $1.8 million in a year and generating over $114,000 in average revenue per month and also $25,000 in profit, which was about 25%. You're going to see everything. You're going to see how this store was done, what made this store good, what made this store not so good, uh, what are the products that he sold and which were the winning products how they actually market it and all those kind of things, right? So let's check it out and see how he did it. So I found this website on Shopify Exchange Marketplace. For those of you who don't know, Shopify Exchange Marketplace is a website whereby you can actually buy and sell businesses. And when you actually list out your website, you need to have all the information. So this websites right here are pretty legit and they have all the information backed up by Shopify. Now, this is actually one of the untapped product research methods whereby you can just hop on to Exchange Marketplace and then you can just scroll and look at what websites are people selling and this may potentially give you product ideas as well because some of these stores are actually still active and the store that I'm going to be talking to you about is currently active. Before we continue guys, if you like what you're seeing, do help me out by smashing the like button and also consider subscribing to this video so that you will get notified whenever I release a new video like this. This will really help me out, keeps me motivated to continue sharing out more valuable content like this for you. So the website that we'll be looking at is called Aurela and Aurela is based in the Netherlands and they only ship to two countries, the Netherlands and also Belgium. It's actually a very smart move that they made because while all the other dropshippers, e-commerce people are actually focused on the big four, US, Australia, Canada and UK, these people right here, they actually focus on those two countries only and it simply eradicates all the other competition that they have. Not only that, because they have a mastery of the language, they are able to cater to this crowd right here, which are Dutch speaking. Let's go ahead and look at the stats for this company right here. If you actually look at the traffic and performance, you can see that they are actually making an average revenue of $114,000. And this is all verified by Shopify. You can see that there's actually this Shopify verified uh, symbol here because all these data come from Shopify itself. Average sessions is about 88,000, making an average profit of $25,000 per month. And you can see that this is about 25% in profit margin. If I actually scroll down right here, you can see the total sales revenue is about 1.8 million as well. And you can see all these data right here, the graph right here is actually coming directly from Shopify and cannot be edited by the seller. If you scroll down right here, you can also see that this is the total traffic of about 1.4 million visits. And you can see the graph is pretty much similar to the total revenue, which tells me that it actually is pretty legit, right? Because this traffic data also directly comes from Shopify and cannot be edited by the seller. Now let's look and see why this company is actually selling the business, all right? You can actually see the business story right here. And it says that this business was actually started uh, through, looks like it's a group of fans who started from university and wanted to do something instead of working the nine to five and wanted to have freedom and not worry about money. So this is a very common uh, reason that people want to start the business, right? So why are they selling the business? You can actually also look at this right here. You can see it says our first goal was to create a general store, but because the sales figures were pretty good, we actually moved on towards a niche store. And we have been doing this for about a year now. And this is not where our interests lie. We want to focus on developing our own product and not have to depend on China. So this tells me that this store is drop shipping right now and they obviously want to sell it because they don't want to drop ship anymore. They want to actually have their own brand, have their own product. And this is what I normally talk to people about, right? You always want to start off with a store. You want to actually make it like look branded, which is what this store did perfectly. And but after that, right, once you have actually done that, it's actually not going to be sustainable for you. But what makes it sustainable is if you are able to come up with your own brand and you know just brand your own products and start selling it. This is what makes it have more longevity. All right. So I want to continue a little bit. It says that in this process, the website doesn't fit anymore. And this is why we are actually selling it off. And we are hoping to actually make someone else happy with this brand called Arella. So they actually built up a brand and it's actually pretty good. This listing was actually done just before the end of Q4. I think it was in 
November. All right, so you can see here it says that with Q4 coming out, this webshop has been has incredible potential and sales will increase by a lot. Right, so you can also see that who is involved in running this business. We have an excellent team. It's 90% automated, and our team exists consists of a video editor, content creator, FB marketing guy, and their own private agent in China and or some other freelancers. All right, so it's telling you that you know you don't have to put in much work. All you need to do is you have so many other people that they have outsourced to they will actually give you the context for them as well all you need to do is you know just put in a little bit of work yourself right now this is a little bit of bullshit because i know for a fact that this may not be very true especially if you're starting out the business for yourself right you're going to be having a lot of things uh, but i would say that once uh, you actually are able to outsource a lot of things and that actually significantly reduces your workload as well right so one more thing is that they actually have a private agent in china which tells me that they're going to have much faster shipping times and potentially even cheaper prices as compared to you know looking for it on aliexpress but i'm pretty sure that when they started they actually started off with aliexpress as well okay so let's quickly move on a little bit and let's have a look and see what are the expenses that they have so the shopify plan that they're using is the 79 dollars per month which is the shopify advanced and this is actually pretty good because it tells me that they actually do have a lower transaction fee as compared to the 29 dollar plan right they have a couple of employees which are their freelancers their vas that helps them in the business which is about $1,000 per month in expenses. Their domain is $14 per year, which is from Shopify, right? They have a couple of apps and we are also able to see what kind of apps they have. Uh, they mentioned here, in card upsell, abandonment, protector, tracking, genie, judge me, pr uh, product reviews, uh, address value later, which is about $50 per month. And then they are spending on Facebook at about $30,000 per month in Facebook ads cost. Right, so again, this is a sales includes no physical inventory because this is all drop ship, uh, but they do have a private agent as well, right? They also include the logo. They also give you some personal support after sale and they will give you some of the product photos, all right? So you can see here, this is the social media following. And like I mentioned, they only had 2000 subscribers or followers when this listing was up. Suppliers, we have our own private agent located in Shenzhen and he's really good to take care of all the sourcing, packaging, logistics out of their hands, right? And they have a pretty huge mailing list uh, after working for around a year, it's about $24,000, right? And they also do have seller's advice, right? what you can actually focus on if you're actually interested in running their store, right? And how much they're actually selling it? They're actually selling it at $400,000 dollars right now i'm not telling you to actually buy this or you need to do your own due diligence but this is what happens when you have actually created a store on your own and you can use this as an exit plan right you can list your store up on exchange marketplace and hopefully you know you are actually able to sell it at you know pretty decent valuation as well right now let's hop on to see how the store is like so this is aurela and as you can see aurela is actually in dutch but obviously because we have google translate Thank you, Google. Nice. We're able to translate it to English, which makes my life a whole lot easier. Now let's look and see why this website is pretty decent, just okay, but they're making $1.8 million. All right, let's check it out and see. If you actually scroll down, you can see that this is the homepage and the homepage looks pretty okay, right? You can see that they do also have some media icons as well now i'm not sure whether these are legit media icons and you know I, I didn't actually do the homework to check it out but i would say that this actually inspires trust and confidence with people because it tells you that you know you're a pretty legit brand and you can also see that there is an about aurela which actually tells the customer what this brand is about and i think that this is actually a pretty good thing that they did uh, it actually gives more relatability because it tells people like this is a team of passionate employees and want to actually help and satisfy the customers this image right here i'm pretty sure that it's just a mock-up image and you know they don't really have a box like that now if you scroll down to the bottom it also tells us about our mission right which is to create latest in innovations this mission statement is a bit general and if i were to actually do something in order to make um, the website a little better i will actually include a cause to it right if you champion a cause this is what a lot of people buy into nowadays for example if you have a cause saying that you want to actually support 
mental awareness this is something that people who support mental awareness can relate to and it may potentially increase their sales a whole lot more as well so if you scroll down you can actually see that this is a general store it sells to the kids sports and outdoor house and garden beauty and accessories as well right and you know not a big fan of general stores but it seems to be working quite well for them if you scroll down here you can actually see that this is uh, some testimonials that they have which is a pretty good thing that they did include it because it gives you more social proof and down here they, there are some blogs which are some articles uh, in order to help out with seo as well and this is their instagram the instagram as you can see uh, pretty decent as well right not the best scrolling down here a little bit more is again more testimonials and yeah there you go this is the website this is their footer they do have uh, some of the details about their business which is actually a very good thing it's very commendable they can see you can actually see that they do have this chamber of commerce number i'm not sure if this number is legit i hope it is but essentially i think this is actually like their business registration number for the netherlands you can also see this as some of the social media icons and they do actually have a customer service email and this is actually a legit customer service email because it is not a gmail and this actually helps give more trust to the customer so that when actually they want to um, inquire or request for something they can actually do that with confidence you know and they actually know that this is a legit store they also saw opening hours for them which is you know if they actually say that it's 24 7 i'm not sure why they still put this right doesn't really make sense and yeah there you go now let's look at their winning product all right now how do i actually identify their winning product very simple i use this tool called commerce inspector and if you actually click on it right here you can actually scroll down and see the best selling products now the best selling product that they have is this aurella super dry thermal hand glove all right so this is the Aurela Super Dry Thermal Glove and this is one of their winning products. Let's have a look and see why this page, to be honest, is quite terrible. All right, I'm going to show you why. If you actually scroll down right here, you can see that they actually only have five images and these five images are of the same image. I don't understand why you want to have so many images uh, that is the same. If you actually look and see, the difference is just the sizing right here. And to be honest, there's no need to have so many images just with that small change because you can't really tell the size of a glove on a picture like this right one thing they did actually very well is they did have a branded store name or right, you can see aurela super dry thermal glove instead of just saying that this is winter glove right they actually have a name for it they're actually selling it also for 22 euros and 95 cents from a discount of 50 dollars <laughs> 50 euros i'm sorry i keep saying dollars because i'm very used to saying dollars okay and if you actually look down this is actually scarcity right it's, they're actually telling you that there is going to be a discount that is applied and the deal ends in 37 minutes and so on and so forth i don't really like countdown timers like this but you know it seems to work well for them not a fan of it and i wouldn't recommend you to put it if you scroll down here you can also see that there are only nine pieces in stock apparently but this number doesn't change and if you come back here again i'm pretty sure that there will still be only nine pieces left in stock which this the scarcity method i don't think you know it you should put it in there anymore it doesn't really work i mean people are getting very much smarter so i don't think that this is going to be useful for them anyways uh, if you actually scroll down a little bit, you can see that this is what you call a trust batch. And having a trust batch is good because you're actually giving customers the trust factor that you're able to accept various different uh, credit cards, Visa, PayPal, MasterCard, so on and so forth. And there's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. I think this is a good thing that they have. Uh, if you scroll down and see, this is actually the sizing chart, all right? But look at it. This is it. Where is their product description? There is no other product description about this product right and if you ask me i think that uh, this is actually pretty weird i've never seen something like this before but they're actually able to make 1.8 million so yeah 
kudos to them for that uh, without any product description and if you look at this as well there is also no customer reviews and i do actually highly recommend that you actually add customer reviews because it does give the customers a little bit more confidence when they're actually able to see how other people use and like the product and what the reviews about the product i've actually done some homework and i actually managed to find this product right here on aliexpress obviously they have mentioned that they actually do have a private supplier as well but let's have a look at this product right here you can see that this is actually the thermal winter glove and this product right here retails for about four euros and seven cents if you scroll down here a bit you can see that this ships to the netherlands for about one euro and 87 cents and i would say that this product cost will be about six euros if you ask me i think that this price is pretty decent it actually gives them quite a healthy uh, profit margin so if you look at how much they're selling they're actually selling it for 22 euros so if you just take the calculator right here it's actually 22.95 minus six it will probably give them about 16 uh, euros of profit margin right which is pretty decent and i'm pretty sure that they may potentially get a much lower price as well since they do have a private supplier so yeah they pro probably be able to earn a little bit more in terms of profit margin if they are actually able to source it uh, themselves let's take a look at their facebook page if you actually scroll down right here you can see that this is their aureola facebook page and look at this they only do have 2000 over likes on their page right they have a couple of photos right here and some videos about their product now let me show you how you can actually spy on them and see how they're actually doing what kind of ads they're running and if they're still active at the moment right and the reason why i'm able to know that they're still active is because you can actually just click on page transparency here as you scroll down you can see when this page was created you can see who manages this page as well and this would probably be their vas and all the other people that are assisting them you can also see that this is still running ads this page is still running ads right so what you want to do is just click on go to ad library and you will be brought to this page right here right now a tip for you right here is if you actually notice this filter by if you are in a country that aurela is not or any advertiser is not a uh, marketing tool you won't be able to see anything so you need to actually select the filter and just select all right and with this facebook ads transparency you can actually look and see this is actually the ad library and you would be able to see what kind of products that they're being launched uh, what kind of ads they're being launched and you can see the ad itself as well you can see the ad copy as well right so this is one of the features of facebook and it's really good look at this this product right here has only started running january 8th and today as i'm recording this this is january 8th this product right here this ad right here was only running since yesterday right you can see these are the products that they are testing so if you're doing product research this can be a very good way for you to spy on your competitors and let's look and see how this ad actually is right this is one of the ads which is which is the bunny shoes right i want to actually look for the winning product so if you scroll down right here you can see there you go right this is the winning product and you can see this ad was just only running since January 7. I'm pretty sure that they have multiple variations of it. There you go, this is another one, right? And if you scroll down, I'm pretty sure you should be able to see more variations. There you go, this is another one, right? So they are testing multiple ad copies, multiple creatives in order for them to find the best possible winning ad creative. See this one right here was launched on November 23rd. Let's have a look and see how the ad is like. So you can see that this ad is actually pretty decent it gives that the music is pretty good uh, gives that 
hype feeling and obviously it's in Dutch so I won't be able to understand but that show you what it can do maybe this is the reason why when they have this they don't even need much explanation in their product page but you can see that you know this video does explain its benefits as well right it doesn't allow a knife to cut through it if you scroll a little bit let's see right here it, it there are two colors and it's waterproof right and you are allowed to grip very well with the glove as well and if you see here it does also allow you to touch your phone which is what gloves usually don't right if you are in the cold and your gloves will not be sensitive enough for you to scroll through your phone so this product right here allows you to do that and you can just clip it together so that you don't lose your gloves and this is a common problem that people have the gloves always get missing and there you go all right very simple ad video that they have and it seems to work pretty well for them let's look at their other social media pages this is their instagram page and as you can see they don't have many followers they only have 1.5 k followers and if, actually if you scroll down here these are some of their videos you can see that they don't really have many views right they never really focus their attention on their instagram page as much but you know they seem to be still making a lot of money from their revenue now let's look and see what other ways of making money now let's look and see what other income streams they have if you actually look at this they do have an affiliate program and let me explain to you what this affiliate partner program can do it actually allows you to sign up for an affiliate partner program to receive commissions so one of the ways that i think that they actually would have done would be to use instagram or any other platform to actually look out for influencers and when you actually get influencers to sign up as an affiliate partner and when they promote the products what happens is that the influencers do get some affiliate commissions right and you know because they're doing this in netherlands i would say that the market is very uh, small so they're able to look for specific influencers and get them to promote and because of that they are able to get some revenue from it as well so i think that this is one of the income streams that they do have as well and if you actually look at this right here it actually also shows you their earnings right you can see that this is from october 2019 all the way until 2020 they actually made about 900 thousand euros right you can see almost which is i would say about a million and if you can see here this is actually the google analytics homepage. you can see that they do have about three hundred and thirty one thousand visitors this is the stats from october just middle of october all the way this is about 10 days and in span of 10 days they made about 131 thousand euros which is pretty much insane right at 2.66 conversion rate with an average order value of 34 dollars and 91 cents if you look here this is from october all the way until november they made about 271 thousand in just one month which is pretty insane now you may be asking me how is it possible that they are actually able to make six figures 131 thousand euros in a span of 10 days and also if you look at this right here in a span of one month 15 october to 15 november they're able to make 271 thousand euros honestly if you ask me i think that they're actually riding the wave of trends and because they are actually in a very small and niche market in the netherlands and also in Belgium, it makes marketing and scaling things up a whole lot easier for them they don't have to actually compete with all the other advertisers that are marketing or around the world and if you actually look at google trends right here you can actually see that this is one of their winning products they actually do follow the trend right here you can see that they actually it was actually spiking in uh in october all right and in also in november right here so you can see that when they notice that this trend is actually rising this is actually netherlands all right for the past 12 months you can see that they are actually able to ride the wave and this is something that was one of the reasons for their success so if you're able to spot the trends as well and you know for a fact that this is winter season winter is about to come 
So you sell a winter related product, most likely you'll be able to do very well because you're able to ride that trend as well. So there you go, guys. One of the ways for you to really make a lot of money would be to ride the trend. And as you can see right here, this company, Aurela, they actually noticed the trend that was coming out, which is one of them was winter gloves. They started selling it at the beginning of the trend and when it went up, you know, and they also focus on just a certain country that they were selling in so that they actually are able to you know eradicate all the other competitors that are selling everywhere especially in the big four and the, these are the reasons why cpms were so high these are the reasons why ad cost was so high and these people right here they were actually very smart since they only focus on that just that few countries they didn't have all these other competitors to fight with and this is one of the reasons why if you want to be successful as well you need to be able to understand the trend you need to actually also do something that is different from other people all right just like these people have right here right so i hope that this video has been useful for you really if you learn a lot today just quickly help me by smashing the like button subscribing as well so that you get notified and every time i release a new video and if you want to actually be winning a highly converting shopify store for free i want to actually give a lucky winner a chance to actually do that one of the ways that you can do that is to subscribe and comment in the comment section ecom champions and i will actually select a winner once this video hits 500 likes so i hope that you enjoy this video and i look forward to seeing you in the upcoming video next week see ya. i'll be sharing with you the ultimate product research guide for 2021 so that you're able to select the perfect niche for yourself you're able to verify demands and trends so that you're always on the right direction you're also able to research untapped products that